Most people don't know how to manage their fear. The people that we teach most of the time are the people that protect us, you and me. There's not a lot of people that I know that would do an experiment that involved them getting hurt over and over again and continue to do it. I didn't know what was going on, but I knew something important was going on. Your startle flinch response is the organic equivalent of an airbag in a modern car. You don't deploy the airbag. The computer system picks up the impact before you can do anything about it. But the most dangerous fight, there is no consent, there is no awareness, there is no preparation. So the preparation has to be done in a synthetic training environment. Training should hurt, but it shouldn't injure. And so, because if you're injured, you're less effective to really do the task at hand, which you know, what we're focusing on is, you know, true self-defense scenarios. Pick it up early and don't be there when it goes off. That's your best self-defense, right? Don't let pride or ego dictate your next strategy. There's a moral, ethical, and legal obligation in self-defense. The ability to protect yourself and your family is the single greatest skill you can have. You would trade all of your money, your best deadlift, your best snatch, everything for the ability to protect yourself or your family or somebody you loved.